So what you need to do as an individual is deal with disobedience. Welcome to today's DDRX. We're looking at cure for causes. You know, some people have been commenting, they've been writing me, are you trying to instill fear on us? Uh, that's not the purpose. The purpose is to inform. Uh, so I also have in the studio today, Dami, who will be asking a question. Thank you for having me, sir. Uh, so my question for today is, um, I know that there are cure for curses. So what do people have to do to receive those cures? Yeah, so there are, we have cure for curses. Uh, curses can be reversed. And we said the cure is in Jesus. So what you need to do as an individual is deal with disobedience. Have you been blatantly and willfully breaking God's word or covenant? Deuteronomy 28.45 says, Moreover, all these causes shall come upon you and pursue and overtake you until you are destroyed, because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded you. So obedience is a permanent solution. And we have a choice to make. Deuteronomy 13.19, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that are set before you life and death blessing and cursing therefore choose light that both you and your descendant may live so when you obey god you experience god's blessings when you disobey god you cause your own suffering mystery and pain and this is the self-imposed cause of disobedience so we just need to avoid sin it hinders prayer the psalmist says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will know you in Psalm 66, verse 18. The soul that sin shall die. So the wages of sin is death in Romans 3, 23. So we just need to deal with disobedience. And there are a lot of them. Uh, because of time, maybe from tomorrow, I will address some of them. Thank you. Thank you.